One of South Korea's most infamous serial killers, Yoo Young Chol, was transferred from the Daegu Correctional Institution to the Seoul Detention Center last week. In 2005, South Korea's Supreme Court upheld the death penalty, and he has been on death row ever since. Yoo confessed to killing at least 20 people between 2003 and July 2004 after he was captured. Many of the victims were women who worked at tea houses and drinking spots. He shocked investigators at the time by saying he would have killed at least 100 people if he had not been apprehended. Yu had initially blamed his turbulent childhood and a bad marriage for his actions, but later thanked the prosecution for demanding the death penalty. There are 59 inmates currently sentenced to death, including Yu. South Korea is categorized as a country that in practice has abolished the death penalty, having not executed anyone since December 1997. However, on August 30, Justice Minister Han Dong-hun ordered the Correctional Service in charge of all jails to inspect all execution facilities across the country. South Korea built execution chambers at the Seoul and Busan detention centers and the Daegu and Daejeon Correctional Institutions. Of the four, only the detention center in Seoul can execute convicts. The Seoul facility is already holding Kang Ho-sun and Jung Do-young, who have been convicted of having killed 10 and 9 people, respectively. Besides Yoo young Chol, Jung young Do, who is another inmate on death row, was also moved from the Daegu Correctional Institution to Seoul. Jung had been convicted of murdering newlyweds on their honeymoon because the car they were driving overtook his vehicle on the road. He used his hunting shotgun to kill both husband and wife. Local observers said that the transfer of Yu and Chung may indicate that South Korea is giving off signals that it can carry out the executions at any time. Related to speculation of the country reviving executions, the Justice Ministry said the latest transfers took place because there was an administrative need to do so.